Vanessa Brooks. What can I say about Vanessa? Vanessa is my GOAT. She's like Michael Jordan in the clutch in the, in the NBA Final Championship game with the game on the line. She always come through no matter what. I can call, text her, whatever, and she's there for me just like I'm there for her. Um, and she could be retired right now, supposed to be retired right now, but if they call her from the school system, hey, she's there 100% for the kids. Not for the money, not cause she's bored, it's because that she loves the kids and she wants to see the kids succeed. Vanessa Brooks is a highly qualified educator. And I think she brings a great deal of professionalism to Randolph County in the field of education. The way that she works with these young people, the way that she uh, motivates them, and always looking out for their best interests. I think that she's uh, a force that we really need to have. And uh, she's always cheerful, kind, and courteous to everyone. So I think she's the type of person that we need to have working with our kids here in Randolph County. This bus represents a lot of things for Randolph County, um, especially for the African American community. Um, she has instilled in us to stand up for ourselves, believe in ourselves, um, our rights. Um, we, we would kind of be a lost generation without Ms. Brooks um, and her guidance um, as far as being a mentor when needed, a mom when needed, a friend. Um, she represents just a whole lot for Randolph County in a whole. It seems like Ms. Brooks always going above and beyond for her community. I mean, whether it's the football camp, football and cheerleading camp, whether it's in the school system. Hey, I mean, just her driving kids to different schools, different colleges, so they have a chance to go to college. I mean, golly, this woman is amazing. So she's been doing it probably, what, 30, 40 years now that she's been in the school system, but I really enjoy what she does and how she do it, and I'm always picking little nuggets from her. So I really appreciate love of Ms. Bruce. She does so much. It is, it's kind of hard to pick out just one thing because she's active in the church. She's always helping out with her church. Uh, St. Luke uh, sings in the choir. She uh, does uh, everything there. Uh, she works uh, a lot with other organizations in the community. But uh, I guess, uh, again, working with the young people, she makes sure that the kids that are about ready to graduate uh, uh, this looking at college uh, have the right information. Uh, they take the SAT and uh, tests like that to prepare them to get into college. She's always advising them and their parents. Uh, just seeing her in action working with these young people, I guess, would be the main thing that stands out in my mind. So, uh, this past, the last past school year, um, we dealt with some difficulties uh, in the school system in which I didn't know how to handle per se myself. So I did reach out to Ms. Brooks um, for her guidance um, and how to handle that situation uh, to ensure that we got a good result. And Ms. Brooks was 10 toes down, ready to show up. Uh, she even attended the meeting with me with the superintendent to ensure that uh, what I was trying to say made a difference. I've also seen Ms. Brooks um, over the pandemic um, she was doing tutoring with the children, um, per se, and she got to encounter my son um, in tutoring, so he got to learn who Miss Brooks was. Well, like I said, she, she, she's definitely a winner. Um, like I said, she always comes through in the clutch. And she's like, she's like everybody's go to. Uh, I could probably name 50 people right now that if they call her, that she'll be there for them as well. So um, in the sixth grade, Ms. Brooks was my first African-American teacher, and I was a very shy person. Um, I was going through a lot that sixth grade year, um, and Ms. Brooks knew a little bit, but not all. And so um, she began to work with me on um, not being so shy and being able to publicly speak. So when I um, began, she started me out running for student council. Um, well, my seventh grade year, I won vice president. 
um, my eighth grade year, I won president. So Ms. Brooks um, really put a number on me to get me to be able to speak and to engage without being too shy. Um, so that's something I give her a lot of credit for in my life today, being able to publicly speak to people um, without being overly shy or not being able to um, get out what needs to be said. Ms. Brooks, I love you. Russ Murphy Camps love you. We are so proud to have you part of our staff to work with us, uh, working with the cheerleaders like you do in every other program. It's just a joy to work with you, and you're always there, available, willing, and uh, your kind spirit and your uh, attitude really helps us so much. And I just want to help you celebrate your day. Congratulations. You deserve this and so much more. And thank you for being my, my right hand lady, always keeping me straight and guiding me. Uh, congratulations. Ms. Brooks, thank you for being a Proverbs 31 lady. A lady of dignity, patience, generosity, courage, wisdom, and devotion. You have been a very devoted member of our community in Randolph County. And we are so blessed to have you, to have your wisdom, to have your love. Um, your mentorship means everything. Um, when you are needed, you are just a phone call away and a hop and a skip. So I want to say thank you to you and we love you so much um, and you deserve this award tonight. Vanessa Brooks, I am so godly proud of you. I appreciate everything you do in the community. I appreciate your friendship. You're just like a sister to me a good friend, you actually my hero. Let me translate that, you're my shero. So uh, this award is very, very deserving. I know you don't do it because of the awards, the accolades. You do it because you love the community. And the community loves you. 